With diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes and an ecological biosphere that supports life, this wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidences which pinpoints the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you part four of a five-part series titled Killing is Never Right, a compilation of excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussions concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately the health of our planet. The more we kill animal even for experiment in the laboratory, the more sickness we have. Look, we just kill one sickness and another come, worse than before. The law of karma, the great law of the universe, never fail. That is the problem with humans, because they don't understand this. I think what they can do today, they do it. They can harm somebody, and then they gain something, some money or some promotion, some glorification, whatever. But that's not right. It's never right. So if you are in heaven, it's difficult to practice. But if you're in hell, also difficult. Because if once we create hell, like war, then it continues forever like that. Somebody dies, somebody injured, and then later they come back. They cannot come back in this lifetime because they are weakened or they've been destroyed or killed. They come back next lifetime. Life continues forever. It's not like you kill one person today and he finishes with you. No, no, no. The great law of the universe doesn't allow anyone to overpower anyone unjustly. Even if you have the right to defend, it's also not good for us, because that means we don't trust in God's power to regulate things for us. We don't trust in the great law to justify people's or others' actions. And we take matter into our hands. Then heaven will ignore us. Okay? You want to kill him back? Right, then you both have to take care of each other. You kill him, he come back, kill you, and then later you die, and then you come back, kill him, the next life, and then die again, again, again. So that's why I told you, even if people kill you, let him. They are worse thing than death. Worse thing than death. Worse things are ignorance. Ignorance is worse, worse than death. We die with enlightenment. We go straight to heaven. Yes? We die with the forgiveness in our heart, the compassion in our soul. We go straight to high level. But if we revenge, we kill them back, or we injure, we hurt people in some way, that will come back to us again, again, and again. And we, not, we go nowhere. Okay? This physical body it can have another anytime if you desire it. The difficult is to get away from it, not to worry we don't have one, yes? I won't tell you to go out and try to provoke somebody so that he kill you. It's not like that, huh? huh? <laughs> don't try to come home and <laughs> say something like that. 
What I mean is truly, if we have this physical body, okay, fine. That means heaven still want us here to work. Of course, you try to defend for yourself. Defense doesn't mean you kill other people. Eh? Defend, run away, reason with him. Just defend, but not hurt them. Understand? If you can defend, it's fine. Run away is the best. Chinese say run away is the best. Thirty-six strategy. <laughs> the best one is to run away. <laughs> I know what it is. It's truly like that. It's truly the Chinese saying is the best. What for staying around and explaining to people, I'm innocent, I'm innocent, you know. I, I do nothing wrong. You know? Some people don't listen. Yeah. It just, this life is still not very elevated. Eh? But it's getting better and better all the time. I heard many governments encourage people, less meat and organic farming and all that. Actually, today we have some people with good news, no? Like in Ireland, the government support organic farming, and a lot of people apply for it now. 85%. Yeah, is that nice? Okay. Soon we will see all the cow walking around like between the green lights. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe whole hand <laughs> with a human. Because the cows, they can cry when you want to kill them. They cry. Many of them do that. And some even run to the police and to take refuge. Many like that happen. And later the police also feel sorry for them. And then somebody buy it and send it to animal shelter or something. They do know what to do. It's just sometimes they can't escape, you know, because they control them drag them in there and oh, all kind of thing. I don't want to talk about it because I will die. Oh, terrible. This animal cruelty, how can we call ourselves human? Humans mean humane. How can we do this? But the people who kill them, they do it for job. You see, sometimes they don't have all the job to do. If the government create better job, then they would change. Yes. And if there's no more demand for meat or fish or any animal product, then there will be nobody who kill. Perhaps one or two, they do it by themselves. But not en masse, you see? Not confined in small, small crates that they could not even turn around. They can only lay down and stand up. This is the utmost cruelty. Imagine if it's you. Imagine if you put yourself in that situation. Imagine if somebody put you in a crate like that, that you could not even turn around. You can only stand or lay down. Can you imagine? You feel good? No. That's why I said, if everyone in this world consider the other end, consider other people's position, then we will have no war, no cruelty, no animals killing, no hunger even. European Parliament supports reducing meat to lower greenhouse gases. Call vote. Vote is now open. Reduce your meat consumption or stop eating meat totally. During discussions on greenhouse gas reduction goals, the Climate Committee of the European Parliament officially recognized livestock's contribution to global warming and recommended a reduction of subsidies to the livestock industry to curb methane. The European Parliament has adopted its own position on climate change as an institution and as a Vice President. One of the proposals I have made is in line with your own, which is that we should eat far less meat because that's one of the major sources of greenhouse gases. We know that uh, the agriculture and uh, the meat uh, production is one of the main cause of gas emission. And so it's very clear that the ratio per habitant of meat has to decrease. My name is Jan Solm. I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg. Go green, save the planet. The problem is we don't consider others. So as a spiritual practitioner, so-called spiritual practitioner, please be different 
for me. Okay? Please be different. Don't just clap hands and say, Oh, Master, you are compassionate, you're mercy, you're beautiful, you this and that. Do it. Do what I do. Or at least some of it. Yeah? Do it in your capacity. I don't say that you always have to give money to people if you don't have, but you give your time. Yes? Your time, your support. Do something else. Do in your small capacity. Yes? Like last time I said to some Chinese, they can make food in lunchbox and sell it a reasonable price to some neighbor nearby or some company or some office or something, you know. Don't have to make a lot. Like you have one office who will agree to that, then you make it sell to them. Twenty box or something, good nutritious food made with love, you know. And first, you earn some extra money. Second, you earn more merit because this kind of job, who is providing compassionate nutrition to others, is a very meritorious kind of job. Yes, one of yeah, one of. Any time you do something good to others, offer some necessity to others, even if you earn some profit out of it, you still gain merit from heaven. It's not just like you have to give it for charity, then you gain merit. It's not only, not only. Charity alone, then maybe you gain a little more merit. But if even if you do a good job, like opening a loving hut restaurant, offering this compassionate lifestyle to people, so people have a chance to turn around and save their own lives, save the planet, save the animals, then you also have merit, even if you earn money with it, because that belongs to the meritorious category of jobs. There are two, three kinds of jobs, yeah? The kind of job that earn you merit, earn points in heaven. Like what job earn 10 points, what job earn 100 points? <laughs> like in the school. And that's the kind of meritorious job. They earn big points in heaven, merit points in heaven, apart from meditation. Eh? Yes. So even if you don't do meditation, at least you earn some merit to go to heaven, so that you don't go to hell, you don't go to a lower uh, level of existence after you die. But apart from meditation, if you earn more good points in heaven, then of course you go higher to heaven. And then when you die, you don't just sit there miserable, see people flying past by you to go up, and then you sit there, and you don't know what to do anymore. It's too late. See? In heaven, when you go in that lower heaven, you're still happy, fine, but it's difficult to practice then. Here, it's easier, because there are suffering, there are troubles, there are things to do, problems to fix, to repair, and then you can earn merit. You see, in heaven, nobody needs your vegetarian food, do they? <laughs> no, huh? That is for an example, huh? In heaven, you don't have a chance to go and give SOS flyers, do they? Do they need you? No, you don't have a chance to do that. So here, do as much as you can, yeah? SOS flyers, alternative living flyer, open vegan restaurant, or cook vegan lunchbox. If you don't have money to open restaurant, everybody can cook this on your spare time, weekend, uh, evening. It was a pleasure to have you with us today for Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. Tune in next Friday for part five of Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion titled Killing is Never Right. And now, Animal World, our co-inhabitants, is up next right after Noteworthy News, wishing you much love and peace under heaven's grace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.